hope you are having an awesome day. Let us take a moment and pause for prayer. Today's verse of the day is Isaiah 43 2. Contemporary Jewish Bible. When you pass through water, I'll be with you. When you pass through rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you will not be scorched. The flame will not burn you. Shall we pray? Kind Father, we thank you for allowing us to know through your word today that you are always there. We thank you according to Isaiah 43 1, because we don't have to fear. For you have redeemed us and called us by our name. Every so often, it's hard to realize that when we are going through, that we are not alone, that you are right there with us. Help us to realize today, according to Ecclesiastes 3.1, that to everything that we face in this life, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Therefore, Father, we ask you today, according to Galatians 6.9, that you help us, that we not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. When all seems lost, help us to remember Jeremiah 29.11, that you know the thoughts that you think toward us. We thank you for giving us to know that they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. Help us to realize that you know what you expect our outcome to be. Help us not tamper with it. Don't turn us over to your permissive will. Many people today feel that they are drowning in this thing called life. But we ask you now to send help speedily. Father, we ask that judgment today, according to Amos 5.24, run down as waters, and righteousness as a mighty stream, so that we not be found as those in Ezekiel 20:26 20, that were polluted in their own gifts, in that they subjected their children to be sacrificed to false gods, that you might make them desolate, finding no comfort in anything, to the end that they might realize that you are the Lord, Father, we ask today, that you be pleased with our life, that we not be deceived and end up lost. Father, help us to take our cares and concerns solely to you, the one that can do something about it. Give us to know that you are concerned about what matters to us, but you are waiting on us to solely rely on you. Give us to realize that many of us have hindered our own outcomes when we decided to use our personal human intervention. Give us to realize when we block things for others, that you block things for us so that we no longer take our authority that you have given to us for granted. Help us to be honest with ourselves and with you today, admitting those things that we have done to others. Give us not to be blind to the areas where we have usurped our authority, because you allowed it to be so without personal conviction. Give us to realize you didn't give us the authority to pull strings or change outcomes, even when situations affected us on the individual level. Father, help us in the times where things look grim and our faith begins to waver, that we not take matters into our own hands. Father, we ask that you complete the work that you started in us. Let us not be as an abandoned construction project, because we intervened with your will and plan for our lives. Don't leave us our own devices. But we ask that we be found of you, and that you be seen in us by those that need you. Father, we ask according to 2 Chronicles 6 19, that you have respect to the prayer of your servants and to our supplications. Listen unto our cry and the prayers which we have prayed before. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for pausing to listen to today's edition of Pause for Prayer. Sponsored by the Holy Place Church, we are praying for you and believing God with you in your circumstance. Submit your prayer requests via our website at holyplacechurch.org. Help someone by sharing this prayer and others might find hope. On behalf of our lead servant, Lydia Young, we thank you for tuning in. Have a fantastic day.